Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to continue on. We're going to add to the backside of the third fin of this mini album that we're making. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not a mini album. This is a scrapbook album. This is far from mini. It's very big. This is the Basically Amazing Foundations printable scrapbook album and this is the size B. So this one is called... This one is called Gingham Gardens. That is the paper collection we're using, and it's My Mind's Eye. It's a paper collection by My Mind's Eye. I'll have this linked down below. Um, I also have it linked in my special Amazon list specifically for this album. Um, the templates I will have linked down below. They are available in my Etsy shop. They do not come in like a physical form. They are a printable form, digital form only, where you download the files and then you print them out yourselves. Um, oh, and also I've been getting asked about these plastic folders. Um, these are meant for 12 by 12 paper collections um, or papers. So what I will do is I will link these specifically down below. These are just plastic folders. I think they come in a set of three or something. Um, but I've been finding them really, really, really useful. I've been using them quite a bit, but I've been getting asked a lot of questions about them, but I will link them down below specifically if you guys want to check them out. Okay, so I have a, a playlist specifically for this album, so it's a step-by-step, -step, start to finish, go in order kind of playlist. If you want to check that out, I will link that up here, and I will link it down below in the description box. Um, it starts with an introduction to the templates, and then there's a flip through of all of the prototypes that I made before I released the templates. Then there is the add-on photo mats video, and then there should be starting with the cover. So this really cool clear uh, acrylic craft plastic cover, and then step-by-step -step going through all these different flips, um, flips, flaps, pockets, inserts, all the way through until this current video and depending on when you watch this video obviously it might be a completed album or it might be you know you're following along with me so the last videos we did this little section where we did the shaped corner there using some chipboard pieces and whatnot and then we did this part inside here where we have a bunch of loose photo mats just hanging out in here and we also did, or we did the gemstone tab, and we did the gemstone paper clip. Um, so that was fun. So that was the last two videos that we did. So today, again, we're going to be moving on to the backside of this fin. So I'm going to actually move this out of the way. <clears throat> you have to excuse my allergies again. It's just that time of year, I'm telling you. <clears throat> Um, normally, it, we're done with the frost. I mean, we're done with the cold and the frost and whatnot. But we had to bring our. We have a really big rosemary bush that we keep in a pot so that we can bring it in in the winter. Well, we had to bring it in over the past weekend, over Mother's Day weekend, and I really do think it just flared my allergies right back up. And I've just been, I've just been a hot mess. I've had to take a lot of medicine, and <laughs> it's just been a mess. I don't know. And I've, I've kept my granddaughter, I've been keeping her two days a week, and I just can't seem to get my stuff together here. So I, <laughs> I've fallen behind a little bit. So you guys are going to have to uh, forgive me a little. <laughs> but I have prepped what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do like a reverse waterfall kind of thing it's not really a reverse waterfall and it's not really a waterfall it's like a cascading um pages except it's going up they're they're going to be different sizes so whoops i don't need that piece so let me tell you what i've already prepared so i printed one of page 8b and the foundations this is the main base page for this size album so I printed this off onto white cardstock. Uh, I use 80 pound, I've been using 80 pound cardstock. I've got that linked in my Amazon list. That is linked down below in the description box. If you want to check it out, 
Um, I printed it off on just regular white cardstock, and then I cut the two short tabs off and the one long tab off and left one long tab. So this is the tab that's gonna be attached to the fin. So I've already inked it up and I've scored it and I have put tape on the tab. So I printed one of those off and then I printed a series of different things here. The next page I printed was 12, 12 AB. Let me see here, which way do I have this one going? Was it this way? 12 AB. And there's the bottom part here. So I cut this tab away and this tab away, and then I cut the belly band. I cut that away from the page, but I left that tab on there just in case I might want to use that as a pocket. And then I obviously have inked and scored and um, put tape on the one side. So this is going to be this is going to be one of the flips, one of the cascading flips. So this is the tallest one and it's gonna go like this. Okay, so I've got that prepared. And then the next one is this page, which is 15B. So I cut, this is basically a square, so you could, you could cut whichever one you want off. But I just left one tab here and then there's the cutoff piece, and then this one will be attached to there, and there'll be the next cascading layer, and they're gonna be coming, they're gonna be folding this away, okay? So then the next page that I have printed off is, I wanna say this one is 16B, so I cut it down like this, so there's the belly band, and again, I left that one tab on there just in case I wanted to use that as like a pocket. And then I cut these two away. And then this will go on top of that. So now we've got three flip downs, right? You see how it's kind of going down a little bit by little bit. And then the last page is 17 BD, and I cut one like this and I don't guess it really matters. And then one like this. So one of them I left one of the short tabs on. And then one of them I left one of the long tabs on. Okay. So let me show you what I plan on doing here. Right, so there's that, and then there's gonna be this last bottom piece here, but then this other piece is gonna come down like this. And we're gonna have a magnet there. So this is gonna be like the closure that keeps everything from flopping around, right? So it's gonna kind of be, be like that. So let's go ahead and put it all together. It's not, I don't think it's gonna be difficult, <laughs> but, we're gonna start, let's start with the smallest piece and we'll put that onto the next smallest piece. So I'm gonna burnish this over like this. Actually, let's just go ahead and burnish them all the way they're supposed to be. Go, let's just go in order. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that flat. I think it'll be easier. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to remove the tape backing. I'm going to use a little bit of glue stick for some wiggle room. And flip it over. Match it up. Best you can. I mean, I have a feeling that these are not going to be 100% perfect because I am not the perfect trimmer. You know, I always am a little wonky when I trim. So that's not too bad. It's not too terrible. 
I mean, I'm almost always a little wonky when I trim. It's kind of, it's almost embarrassing, <laughs> but it's okay. Whoop, let me do the glue stick. Whoops, got glue stick on my paper there. This is just a oohoo. Uh use whatever glue stick you want. You do not have to use that brand. You could just use a cheapy cheapy glue stick. It's just really to give you that bit of a second to wiggle things around just a little before that tape grabs. That's pretty good. All right, so this is what, you know, this is what we're kind of building here. And then one more. Again, I'm sorry about my, my voice, you guys. I had to take Benadryl a couple times the other day. And man, that stuff is just, you know, some people it affects, some people it doesn't. For me, it just kicks my butt. It just is really, it does terrible things. <laughs> Terrible thing. It does dry me up. I don't. I'm not sneezing and carrying on anymore. But it just really affects me. Okay. All right. So that's the last of the cascade, right? So it's gonna go like this: one, two, three, four. So then this one is gonna get attached to here. So it's going to get attached right down here at the bottom. And I need to be careful that I don't go past the score mark over here. Matter of fact, I'm wondering if I should trim it down just a hair. Just a hair. I think I will because I don't want to go past that score mark. I don't want it to hinder it, you know, flipping. And I got off a little bit anyway, so that'll help. That'll actually help me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just gonna line up my ruler and I'm just gonna take a smidge off, just a smidge, and see if that helps. I'm just gonna use my craft knife. I'm just gonna go gently, make Several passes. This might make the mats a little wonky when we go to mat them, but I can adjust that as well. Okay, that's way better. Way, 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 way better. So I think that that'll be good. So I'm going to ink this edge up really quick though. Just using the Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. That's what I've been using. Alright, now we can add this whole bit to the main base page. Oh, a little bit of glue stick would be good. And we need to line up that edge. As best we can. Yeah, perfect. All right. Okay, so we got that part. So now I need to find. Let's see where am I going to put this? I need to find the center. So I'm going to take my centering ruler and I'm going to find my center. Looks like it's right here. And I'm going to find my center on this page here. So I should just be able to mash up these two marks and we should be good to go. So I'm going to take this paper backing off. A little bit of glue stick. Make 
and match it up perfectly. Yeah, perfect. So I am going to go ahead and add a magnet to here and then a magnet saver to here. So let me grab the magnet drawer. All right, I did a video on the magnets and the magnet savers that I have recently purchased. I did that last video. I will link that. That was actually the last video before this one. I will link that up here and down below. It's called Magnets and Memoirs. If you want to get more information about what's going on here, matter of fact, I might use one of the new, let's use one of the new magnets because I haven't used one of those yet. And people were asking me what these are used for. These are to save your magnets and they're super cheap and they're super thin, super, super, super thin. I've also had people, you know, suggest other things and, and I, um, like for example, using washers and I used to use washers, um, years ago. And I have some literally sitting right over here to the left of me. I just can't <laughs> reach them at this exact moment. But they're thicker. So they leave a bigger imprint onto your album where these are super thin. So that's what the tin caps in these steel disc things are for. Is to replace having to use a magnet. Um, but the magnet sticks to them. Um, and they're super thin. I don't need one this big, I don't think. So I'm going to try the next size down which is this size. And someone asked me if they are, if it's bigger, does it, is it more magnetized? And it, no, but what it will do is it'll give you more wiggle room. So if you're, if you start adding bulk, 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 and your magnet just keeps moving, 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 it still might be able to find that disc versus finding the exact small magnet um, that it keeps moving away from. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Like if that's there, Let's say we put this on and everything's like that. Well, when this gets thicker, you know, the magnets, it might get, <laughs> it's like, uh -uh. Um, it will find that disc a lot easier than it will a smaller disc, if that makes sense. I'm hoping I'm making sense. Okay, so I'm going to put this magnet, I'm going to put it on the inside of this little flap. And I'm literally just going to take a piece of tape. And I'm going to add it right here. It doesn't even have to be in the center. I'm just going to move it just a little bit away from the edge. So we're going to do that. I didn't need to use such big tape either, but I wonder, are there any magnets? Whoops, that was my phone. Are there any magnets that's going to get? No. Okay, so we're good. It's not going to attach onto anything. Oh, I just lied. I mean, there is a magnet, obviously. It's right here. Okay, so do I need to worry about that or just have it? Okay. I don't want it to, like, push away is what I'm trying to prevent here. So... Let me see what happens here. So if that's attached down, no, it's going to be fine. Okay, perfect. So then we have, oh, we better make sure, oh, that's, see, now look, that's going to be too big of a magnet saver because if we just left it where it was at, okay, we don't need one that big then. All right, that's a little better. Okay, so I'm just going to scoot it up just a little bit. We're going to put a little piece of tape on the back of that. So obviously these little metal discs are cheaper than the magnet. And they're just like the tin caps. Um, matter of fact, I still have them in here. 
these tin caps that we've been using that are super hard to find. They're super thin. These aren't tin. These are actually steel, but they're the same thing. It's just these are um, from a different company, so we're going to use them. A different source because those tin caps really are hard to find. They really, really are. They're made for roofing, which again, it's, it's you know. Just erasing my mark there. I might, I might well, I'm gonna leave it. So now we have a magnet and a magnet saver, but it looks like I might have it a little too close to the edge. But since it's so thin, I mean, you barely can see. It's smaller than the magnet, it's thinner than the magnet, it's super thin. I don't think it's gonna affect anything. So that is perfect. All right, I am going to add piece of tape over top of the magnet. I kind of feel like, oh, I will have all the resources um, for these magnets and the magnet savers and stuff down below. They're not affiliated to me or anything. It was just um, different, a different resource. Feeling like the magnet itself, no, it's about the same. It might be teeny tiny bit thicker, but, um, I think it's fine. I'm going to put a piece of tape over top and cover up that raw uh, adhesive there. That one doesn't really need anything. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add it into the album and then we'll work on matting. Take the backing off. A little bit, just barely any glue stick, looks like. I barely got any on there. So we're going on the back side. This is the page. We're going on the back side, on this side of the fin. So we're just going to line it up. Oops. <laughs> so we're just going to line that sucker up. We did not do a very good job on that, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's see if it's off really bad. No, it's perfectly fine. So we just added it to that side of the fan. I'm gonna flip it this way, and I'm gonna burnish that down. Okay, so now we have our little cascading flip. And then we can have a full page there. All right, so let me get some stuff together and prepped, and then we'll come back and we'll finish matting this up. Okay, I have been trying to plan out how I wanted to mat all of my different little flips and flaps and things. <laughs> and you know the, the expression when it rains, it pours. Well, I've had issue after issue after issue. <laughs> I've had issues with my printer. I've had issues with my computer. I've had issues with my my phone. Okay, so anyway, needless to say, I got slightly frustrated. So I have already prepped some things. As you can see, they're just nothing's glued down. It's just all clipped, just so I could get like a overall feel of what it's going to look like. But. <laughs> <laughs> I finally just decided I'm going to turn the camera on and we're going to put what I got together and that's just that. That's going to be that. <laughs> so, let's start with, let's start with the flap. Let's start with this flap right here. Okay, so we had already, oh, I don't want to use one that's got a thingy on the back. Do they all have thingies on the back? Uh-uh, we're going to use this one. We had printed, from the last video, I'd printed too many, so we're going to use one of those 4 by 6 This is from the add-on photo mats. And, hold on. <clears throat> this is what 
the add-on photo mats. They are an addition, an add-on to the uh, foundations. So this was page, um, I'm pretty sure it's not that page. It's not that page at all. It's this page. This was 7BD. I printed that off onto white cardstock and then I stamped it with the 4x6. So you know there's a 4x6 photo. So we're going to mat the back of the flip with that. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and attach it. Oh, did I grab the wrong one again? Seriously? Come on, Jen. What are you doing over here? <laughs> there we go. Jeez. <laughs> I don't want, these have the script lines on the back. I don't want to waste those by gluing it down. So I'm just using my ATG, my advanced tape glider. And going around the edge, and then I need to take this backing off of here. This tape backing. And we're just simply going to map this easy peasy. That is all there is to it. And then this piece right here. Let me show you what I did. I took, this was part of the paper collection. This was a 12 by 12. I cut it down to eight and a half by 11. I ran it through my printer. And um, here's the other piece of it. I actually cut it wrong. I didn't mean to cut it this way. I meant to cut it the other way, but <laughs> I ran it through my printer and put a shades of color on there. And let me show you what it originally, originally like this off-white cream color so I put the I think it's number 22 shades of color this is what the Etsy listing looks like available in my Etsy shop all the links are down below to the add-on photo mats to the shades of color anything that you see I have a link down below for it and it ended up looking like this right so then I traced the mat out for this page and um, cut it out right so then I inked it up and I picked a, an embellishment this was one of the embellishments from the um, embellishment pack and then that was the circle that we cut out from this whoops oh things are falling from this page right here we had well actually we didn't use them but we had I was like trying to figure out which way I want it to go so it's the circles from these Right, and so I picked one of those out. I just picked one of the, the pink ones. And then that leafy thing is another embellishment from the uh, embellishment pack. So then there was a hole on this little tag, so I just strung a string through there. And these are all glued together, and I left them to where they are um, not attached down. And then I sewed all the way around the edge. And so I just thought that would be a super cute little tuck spot right here. Right, so I'm going to glue this down though with Fabri-Tac because it is a little bit more substantial and with the sewing and everything I want to make sure that it gets good contact with the page. So let's go ahead and glue this down. Yeah, my printer, um, I don't really have much patience for technology, but it turns out it just needed a nozzle clean and I'll show you, not a nozzle clean, a print head, I don't know what it's called I had to do it several times because I'll show you it wasn't printing correctly it was printing lines and it was printing weird colors and I don't know it was just weird just weird looking I'm gonna put that on its side for right now so I obviously left the tails whoops the tails of the sewing on there I keep thinking something's behind me that's because of the reflection from that <laughs> Um, I, I didn't get that on very straight. And then these two pieces here, this was a one of the journaling cards from the journaling pack, right? So um, that's what it looks like on the back. So I just did the uh, edging, the, what's it called? The uh, sh uh, pinking shears that have like the little scalloped edge. I just did that on the bottom and then I kind of fussy cut around the top. And this is one of the three by four that we had printed out in the one of the past videos. And then this is one of those little Tim Holtz clips, the little mini, mini clips. Um, 
are tiny clips. There are tiny clips. They're a newer thing that he has. I've got them linked in my Amazon if you want to check them out. So I just thought that might be a cute little, little extra where you can pretty much tuck anything you want in there. So I thought that'd be cute. So I'm going to put this. I have a, a large amount, which is good because I'm going to need them, of large pieces, leftover pieces, cut off pieces or pieces that I've cut a little bit from. You know, I'm going to put this in here because I'm sure I'll be needing that before too long. And there's my large cut off pieces and my small cut off pieces. And then for this page right there, I thought I would just do a simple. Uh, this is the four by six. This is the same page um, as this one. I thought I would do this and then just mat it with. I'm pretty sure this was was this one of the six four by six cards. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't I don't know. Let me see. Is it the same? Yeah. So it's one from the six by six paper pad. I just cut it down and then I did the corner chumps and I thought we would just have this here and then I want to kind of leave it blank. I just want to kind of leave it. So I am going to attach this down with the ATG. And just as a reminder, down in the description box, I have another resource for the replacement for the pink glider. It is specifically for the pink tape glider. And it's directly, it's a direct link to um, Tape Depot. Oops. Oh no, did I get it? Did I get off? Oh well. Oh, it was, uh, well, I got off a lot. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with it. It's fine. Um, and... I have looked for it on Amazon. A lot of people say you can get it on Amazon, but it's not for this pink um, tape glider. So it's for other ones, but not for this particular one. So you may want to do a little bit of research. Oh, let me move this clip. Oh, that was gonna go on the back. All right, so the, turns out this little metal disc here is up a little high. So I'm just gonna take my mat up a little higher. No biggie. And that's that. So then I've got that matted. So then on the back side of that page, let me move my candle a little bit. I was just gonna do the four by six photo mat. Oh, here's one of the things that my printer was doing. Do you see that purplish color? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, but I'm gonna use it because that's wasteful. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it and it's not that big a deal. So we're just gonna add uh, ATG. to that, mat that, all right, so then this piece, this is, I did glue this down and then I stapled it, so this is like a half of the, where is it at, a half of the scallop punch, or I just took a piece, matter of fact, I can show you. I hate doing stuff off camera because I feel like you all, you know, you're like, how did you do that? So I just did that little piece right there. And then this was one of the embellishments from the embellishment pack. And then this is one of the shades of color. I think this was 24. And I did the, um, I did the whole run embossing folder, you know, the, the flower embossing folder. And then, you know, did this, sand at the edge like we've done before. And then I stapled that down to it and I'm like, that's just, I'm just gonna do something that simple. And then this was a tag that we made in a previous video that we did not end up using. So I thought we'd use that and one of the three by four cards as well. So let's put this, um, let's adhere this down. Let's go ahead and attach it. I might even do a little bit here in the middle. Okay, let's go ahead and attach this down right here. So pretty simple. You can add as many things as you would like in here. Um, as many little extra bits. I think it's adorable. I think it's super cute. I might have to make sure that that sticks up a little bit. 
maybe. We'll see. Yeah, it still works just fine. Um, and then I haven't figured out anything for this back side. I'm still debating on this. This page, this is, this right here, you mat this page and then this page, which is 105 in the foundations, it's page 105, this page will then go on top of that mat. And I was thinking about making this a pocket, kind of like we did. Where is it? Oh, I'm going to have to do something about that. Kind of like we did here. Okay, so that's, I'm thinking about doing that. That would be fun. So I might do that, except I didn't print the one from the add-on photo mats. I just printed the one that's part of the templates. Oops, now I'm bending things over here. These, it's just, this is such a big book, you guys. So I'm going to hold off on this. I'm thinking on it, thinking about it. So I'm just going to hold off on it for the time. Actually, they're not, put the, leave it there. So that's my thoughts. We might, uh, obviously I'm gonna have to come back and do that in the next video. Um, I haven't figured out what I wanna do here yet, or here, but I have figured out what I wanna do here. And where did my other cut up, cut off piece, where'd my other flower go? I just literally set it aside so that I wouldn't lose it. Well, Is it, um, ah, oh, there it is. You guys probably saw it. <laughs> so on this main page, I thought I would do this. Oh, and, and again, printer problems. Can you see the printing issue that I was, part of the printing issue. So this is the shades of color. This is 12, I wanna say 12. Yeah, this is number 12 and I traced this page, the, the mat to this page out onto one of the uh, shades of color, number 12, right? And then I sewed around, some of them I did some crazy zigzagging. Can you see that? And then some of it's just straight. And I had cut a notch out just with my circle punch and I thought I would leave it open like a pocket, just like we did here. There that is again. Me and you, we're gonna have to have a talk. Yes, you're not behaving <laughs> on camera. You're being naughty, <laughs> just like we did here, right? I thought that was a cute idea. Lots of space to tuck things in. I thought that was a pretty good idea, but I didn't do as big of a um, as big of a punch because I wanted to put a five by seven photo mat, and I want to kind of cattywonk it, maybe kind of like this or something. And then these are little cutouts from some of the scraps that I had, just scrap papers that I have have in my um, in my trays. So I did that. Oh, there's the cut off piece from that other. <laughs> I guess I can leave that in there too. And then the other part of that tag that I cut off. What do we got here? Oh, and then there's the little there's the little part that I cut off there. But anyway. <laughs> So the five by seven is the first page in the add-on photo mats, and there's two on that page, which is why I've got two sitting here. But I thought it would be fun to just add this with a little bit of flower stuff like that. Do we like? I like. And then, so now we've got an extra five by seven. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this down just on the three sides, not the side, not the side that I wanna leave open. Sorry about that, my camera just, closed, uh, closed, <laughs> closed down, <laughs> shut off. Um, I don't know. It's not a full moon or anything, you guys. I don't know what's been going on. I think it's just with lockdown and all this quarantine stuff and states are starting to reopen. I don't know. I'm just, it's, I'm just worried out. I think I'm, I'm a, I'm a worrier. I'm a stressor. So and then I've had my grandbaby and I haven't been able to plan and I don't know there's just too too many too many things going on stressing me out and I think that's probably why um, probably why 
today's just been a wonky day <laughs> and today is Wednesday and I'm trying to get this filmed and edited and up for you guys and I am keeping my fingers crossed okay so we got that and then I am just gonna glue this down because um, this is gonna be a pocket so we don't have to have any space to slide stuff And I want it to be kind of like this. Like maybe like, like this. Ah. And then we'll just glue these off the picture so that you can slide a picture in there. Like a 5x7 will still fit in there. Right? Do we like? I do. Let me see. I better... I better use liquid glue. I got my fabric tack out. I'll just use it for now. So we'll just stick that there. And we'll stick this on top. Oh, that might be kind of cute. Oh, you're not, I can't get it over that far. I was going to say that might be kind of cute if you could see it. That is as far as I had planned, mostly. So I still have to figure out these two and the back side of here, right? And then um, in between here, in between these two, I'm going to do the same thing as I've been doing throughout all of them and just print onto coffee stained paper and mat them for now. Um, so I think, you guys, I think... That, I'm just going to call it a day today on this video, <laughs> and when we come back, we'll do, we'll finish up these two uh, pages, embellishing, and then, um, and then, yeah, we'll move on to the next fin. Oh, I'm super excited. I really do think this is cute. It's just been a day, so I think it'd be good to just take a step back, take a breather, <laughs> take a breath <laughs> and come back but I do want to get this edited and up today so that I guess we'll just leave it at that uh, let me know what you guys think um, down in the uh, comment section below I believe it's changed on your phone it's not as far down as it used to be <clears throat> I think YouTube just likes to mess with people <laughs> they just like to change things all the time <laughs> um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time Bye.